Forget everything you know about road trips. Norway's Rogfast Tunnel isn't just a tunnel. It's the world's longest and deepest underwater car tunnel. Imagine driving nearly 30 kilometers, almost 400 meters below the North Sea. It's a feat of engineering genius, a bold answer to Norway's wild landscape. So fasten your seatbelt. Let's see what it's like to drive beneath the ocean. Before we plunge into the depths, let's talk about Norway. It's a stunningly beautiful country, all majestic mountains and breathtaking fjords. The problem is, all those majestic mountains and breathtaking fjords are a complete nightmare if you're just trying to get to the shops. For centuries, the landscape has been the boss. It dictates where you can live, where you can work, and how long it takes to visit your grandmother in the next town over. Journeys that would be a simple 20-minute hop in a flat country like, say, the Netherlands, can become multi-hour epics involving winding roads, multiple ferry crossings, and a great deal of patience. This is why tunnels are not just a convenience in Norway, they are a lifeline. They are the stitches that hold the very fabric of the nation together. The country has more tunnels than a colony of well-organized moles, burrowing through mountains to connect isolated communities and slash travel times. It's a national obsession, a constant battle against geography. Every time a new tunnel opens, it's not just a bit of new infrastructure, it's a celebration of connection a victory that brings families, businesses, and entire regions closer together. It fundamentally changes the way people live their lives. So the Rogfast project wasn't just some madcap idea cooked up over a weekend. It was the next logical, albeit gigantic, step in this national quest for connectivity. The goal was to replace a notoriously choppy and time-consuming ferry route between the cities of Stavanger and Haugesund. By doing so, it would create a single, thriving economic and residential region, a place where commuting between the two cities was no longer a major expedition, but a simple, ferry-free drive. It's a project that has been dreamed about for decades, a symbol of a more unified and accessible future for Western Norway. And what a project it is. The scale is almost impossible to comprehend. Imagine an army of engineers and workers blasting and drilling, day in and day out, for years on end, deep beneath the seabed. They had to contend with immense water pressure, complex geology, and the constant challenge of keeping the whole thing from, well, leaking. Building Rogfast wasn't just about digging a hole, it was about conquering a new frontier in engineering. It's a story of ambition, perseverance, and a frankly heroic amount of dynamite. This tunnel is more than concrete and asphalt. It's the physical manifestation of a national dream. Norway's epic landscape, carved by ice and water, means travel is a constant battle against mountains, fjords, and wild weather. For centuries, boats and ferries were the only way to connect communities, but they're slow and at the mercy of storms. So Norwegians started blasting tunnels through rock, shrinking distances and transforming lives. Each new tunnel is a victory over nature and a reason to celebrate. For decades, the E39 highway connecting Stavanger and Haugesund was split by the Boknafjord, a major wet gap only crossable by ferry. The ferry was slow, unpredictable, and a bottleneck for the whole region. It divided two vital economic hubs, limiting jobs, study, and opportunity. The dream of a fixed link was born. Rogfast isn't just a tunnel, it's a bridge uniting a region at last. The impact of a project like Rogfast goes far beyond just getting people to work faster. It's a fundamental redrawing of the social and economic map. When you remove a major barrier like a ferry crossing, you create a ripple effect that touches every aspect of life. Suddenly, the job market for someone in Haugesund isn't just limited to their local area. It expands to include the entire Stavanger region, and vice versa. This gives people more choice, more opportunity, and allows companies to draw from a much larger pool of talent. It's a shot in the arm for the whole economy. Think about emergency services. Before Rogfast, Getting a patient from an island community to the main hospital in Stavanger was a complex operation involving an ambulance, a ferry, and a lot of crossed fingers. The tunnel provides a fast, reliable corridor for ambulances, fire engines, and police. It means that access to critical care is no longer dictated by a boat schedule or the height of the waves. In a country where the weather can turn in an instant, that reliability is priceless. It's a genuine lifesaver a piece of infrastructure that provides peace of mind to hundreds of thousands of people. It also changes the very notion of community. Towns and villages that were once considered remote and isolated are suddenly part of a larger, interconnected urban area. This can revitalize smaller communities, 
encouraging young people to stay rather than moving to the big city for work or education. It makes it easier for friends and families to see each other, strengthening social bonds across the region. A weekend trip to visit the grandparents is no longer a major expedition, but a simple drive. The tunnel doesn't just connect roads, it connects people, weaving the social fabric of the region tighter than ever before. And finally, there's the bigger picture. Rogfast is the flagship project in a much grander plan, the creation of a completely ferry-free E39 coastal highway stretching over 1,100 kilometers from Kristiansand in the south to Trondheim in the north. This is a breathtakingly ambitious vision that will involve building several more record-breaking tunnels and even floating bridges across the deepest fjords. Rogfast is the proof of concept, the statement of intent. It shows the world that Norway has the skill, the technology, and the sheer nerve to tame its coastline once and for all. It's not just a tunnel, it's the future. How do you even begin a project like Rogfast? It's less construction, more military campaign against solid rock. Years of planning, surveys, and computer models came first, before a single pebble moved. They attacked the rock from four directions at once, starting from both ends and the island of Kvitsoy in the middle. With colossal machines and a veritable army of workers, Every day was a battle against the earth itself. Now for the fun part, the explosions. The Rogfast tunnel is built using the drill and blast method. Giant machines drill deep holes, experts load them with explosives, and then, kaboom! A thunderous blast shatters the rock, and heavy machinery moves in to clear the rubble. This relentless cycle repeats, conquering the mountain from the inside out. Building Rogfast meant facing a terrifying challenge, depth. This tunnel plunges to a world record 392 meters below sea level, with water pressure 40 times greater than at the surface. Any crack could unleash a high-pressure jet of water, engineers' worst nightmare. Their solution? Meticulous probing and grouting, sealing every fissure before moving forward. Rogfast isn't just a tunnel, it's a masterpiece of deep earth engineering. Once the raw rocky tube has been blasted and secured, the job is far from over you're left with a dark, damp and bumpy cave. Turning that into a smooth, safe and surprisingly pleasant motorway is a whole other colossal undertaking. This is the finishing phase, where the raw tunnel is transformed into a piece of modern infrastructure. First, a thick, waterproof membrane is painstakingly installed along the entire length of the tunnel, acting as a final line of defense against any moisture that might seep through the rock and concrete. It's like putting a giant Gore-Tex jacket on the inside of the tunnel. Then comes the final concrete lining. Huge, custom-built formwork machines are brought in. These create a perfect, smooth arch, and concrete is poured behind them to create the final inner walls and ceiling you see as you drive through. At the same time, a separate team lays the foundations for the road itself, building up layers of crushed stone and asphalt to create a perfect driving surface. All the while, electricians are busy installing thousands of kilometers of cables for lighting, ventilation fans, and the vast array of safety systems. It's like building a 27-kilometer-long smart building, deep underground. Safety, as you can imagine, is the absolute top priority. Rogfast is packed with more safety tech than a Formula One car. There are emergency laybys every 500 meters, and emergency exit passages connecting the two main tunnels every 250 meters. This means that in the event of an incident, drivers can quickly get to a place of safety. The entire tunnel is monitored 24-7 from a central control room, with cameras, air quality sensors, and heat detectors watching over everything. Huge ventilation fans are ready to kick in to clear smoke, and a sophisticated fire suppression system is on standby. They have truly thought of everything. And then there are the finishing touches, the things designed to make the journey less monotonous. The Norwegians are masters of this. Instead of a boring, uniform grey tube, they use clever lighting to make the drive more interesting. The main tunnels feature cool white light, while the roundabouts are bathed in a warm, colorful glow, creating visual landmarks on your subterranean journey. These aren't just decorative, they help keep drivers alert and break the hypnotic effect of a long tunnel drive. It's this incredible attention to detail that elevates Rogfast from a mere piece of engineering to a genuine driving experience. Here we are, at the entrance to Rogfast, the moment of truth. From the outside, it's just a modern tunnel mouth in the rugged Norwegian landscape. But this is a gateway to another world, deep beneath the waves. You flick on your headlights, grip the wheel, and in you go. Instantly, you notice the slope, 
down, down into the Earth's crust. It's like the start of a theme park ride, but much bigger. The hum of your tires, the endless ribbon of road. This journey has only just begun. The descent continues. Kilometer after kilometer, the road spirals down until you spot a sign minus 392 meters. You've reached the lowest point a car can drive, an extraordinary feat of engineering. The tunnel levels out, and for a moment you're driving flat beneath a mountain of ocean. The walls curve with concrete and steel, a reminder of the immense weight above. Yet, inside, it's calm, brightly lit, and surprisingly spacious. Splashes of colour in the emergency bays break the monotony, making the drive feel almost normal. Just as you settle in, the road begins to climb. Your journey back to the surface has begun. You've touched the bottom of the world, and now you're heading up. The climb is steady, kilometre markers ticking by as you approach a change in the tunnel's glow. Suddenly you enter a vast, illuminated roundabout, the Kvitsoy Junction, transformed into an underground art installation. Golden and blue lights mimic sunrise, a psychological boost for drivers. For a moment you could exit to the island above, but the journey continues. The roundabout's ramps and curves are a marvel of subterranean engineering, seamlessly guiding traffic. This is the heart of Rogfast, where all routes converge far beneath the sea. You leave the light behind, re-entering the tunnel's cool efficiency for the final stretch. Past Kvitsoy you descend once more, then begin the long, final ascent. The tunnel's white light and smooth road are now familiar, the initial anxiety replaced by awe. Gradually, a pinprick of daylight appears ahead, growing brighter as you approach. The exit rushes toward you, a sudden burst of light, colour and fresh air. The world outside feels vivid and new after the tunnel's cocoon. You've crossed under the North Sea in just 25 minutes, a journey that once took nearly an hour by ferry. Glancing back, the tunnel already feels surreal. You've completed the ultimate undersea drive, down to the ocean's depths and back, all from your car. The drive is done but the impact is just beginning. The old, unpredictable ferry is history, replaced by a seamless, reliable drive. For locals, it's a revolution. Commutes are shorter, businesses run smoother, and families are closer. The tunnel gives back time, erasing the fjord as a barrier and connecting communities. Emergency services now have a guaranteed all-weather route, saving lives when minutes matter. The region feels smaller, more united, and infinitely more accessible. Rogfast isn't just infrastructure, it's a lifeline for the people who depend on it. The waves no longer dictate life here, the tunnel does. Rogfast is more than a tunnel, it's the backbone of a new Norwegian superregion. By linking Stavanger and Haugesund, it merges two economies into one thriving hub. Businesses, workers, and families now move freely, fueling growth and opportunity. Housing choices expand smaller communities revive and city pressures ease. The region is poised for a future beyond oil, attracting new industries and talent. Rogfast is a strategic investment, building resilience and prosperity for generations. This tunnel isn't just a shortcut, it's the foundation of a brighter, more connected tomorrow. Rogfast is more than just a tunnel. It's a bold statement that no challenge is too big for human ingenuity. Its groundbreaking technology inspires engineers worldwide, proving that even the deepest fjords can be crossed. As Norway dreams of a ferry-free coastal highway, Rogfast stands as a blueprint for the future, showing how ambition, innovation and determination can connect communities and reshape nations. Norwegians see wild seas and mountains not as obstacles, but as challenges. The Rogfast Tunnel is proof, an epic feat of engineering, cutting through rock and under the sea. It's more than a tunnel, it's a monument to human spirit and ingenuity turning the impossible into a daily drive. Rogfast reminds us, we can still do big, bold things together. Leaving Rogfast behind, we drive into the Norwegian landscape, excited for what's next. This tunnel isn't an end point, but a beginning. It's proof of concept for the E39 coastal highway, bringing the dream of driving Norway's west coast without ferries closer to reality. The road no longer stops at the water's edge, it dives under it, opening new adventures. Rogfast is a landmark of human achievement and a glimpse into the future of driving.